Hello and welcome my precious! Today's video I will explain why the theory of Galadriel's dagger is wrong. So at this moment theories surrounding the dagger of Galadriel and her brother Finrod are circulating. The major one is that it was all planned by Sauron. In the first episode we see that Finrod died at the ends of Sauron. We get only the shot of Finrod's naked mortal wounded body and marked by Sauron in the chest with the symbol of Mordor. And he still has the dagger with him. Now, fans are speculating why would Sauron let Finrod's body return with the dagger and they are concluding that he put a curse on the dagger maybe to corrupt to darkness the person who holds it and that's why Galadriel has a thirst for revenge in season 1. Others are including that after the plan to make the rings, Sauron, in the form of Albrand, said to Celebrimbor that they needed to bind other materials to Mithril in order for Galadriel to melt the sword and that's why we see the Eye of Sauron in the Liquid's Forge. This is wrong, let me explain why. First, be so kind to subscribe to the channel for more theories, not for me, but for Frodo, for the fans. Now, if you saw my complete story of Finrod video right here, you know that it's very weird that he would return with any kind of armor or weapons because when imprisoned, Finrod saved a character named Baron from a wolf sent by Sauron to kill Baron. Finrod died after that, in the dungeons of the original Minas Tirith, not the ones from the movies that is created probably later in the Rings of Power. The most interesting part is that he broke free from his chains and killed the wolf with his hands and teeth, because he had no weapons, he was in prison. So after that, Baron escapes with the help of Luthien, who arrives another character from the Lord Luthien, that we see in episode 1 when Galadriel is in Moriel Forest. She is that lady with the dog carved in the trees. She is known by stealing a Silmaril from Morgoth's crown. Crazy story. So Beren and Luthien escape and rescue the dead body of Finrod and they buried his body on a hill on Tol Sirion. His grave remained green until Beleriand was destroyed at the end of the First Age. So how can the dagger be cursed? It cannot. It makes no sense because Sauron would not predict that Baron would escape because he wanted to kill him and only with the pure brave heart of Finrod that saved him, this didn't happen. The only way the dagger was recovered is because Baron or Luthien, when escaping and bringing the body of Finrod, or maybe Finrod at the time was still alive, one of the three grabbed from a table or a place where the weapons were stashed before being imprisoned, they grabbed the dagger at that time and brought it as a memory or something. Be so kind to subscribe once more to the channel for more theories, not for me, but for Frodo, for the fans. So, in my opinion, forget the cursed dagger, point number one. I hope it doesn't happen at all because of this explanation, it would make no sense for me. Another point that I didn't like a lot is Galadriel's sacrifice of the dagger. Going back to the lore of the books once again, during the migration of the elves with the elf Feanor into Middle-earth, to rescue the stolen Silmarils by Morgoth, many treasures, including gold and silver from Valinor, were brought to the land that in the show is underwater called Beleriand, but Middle-earth was bigger, Beleriand was part of Middle-earth. So now he's underwater and then Numenor appears after that, just to, to put you in the timeline. These treasures were many, and in the books Finrod was one of the elves who brought more treasures from Valinor. So I cannot believe that Celebrimbor, the greatest smith of all time, and you know a smith needs resources, materials to forge, and precious resources are the main quest of a smith in his life, get more materials and new materials. I cannot believe that, that Celebrimbor, being the ruler of Eregion, and looking how gorgeous and precious Eregion kingdom looks, in the show, doesn't have at least one chest full of gold and silver from the Undying Lands of Valinor. It's in the books, so let me read it to you. In the labor, Finrod was aided by the dwarves of the Blue Mountains, and they were rewarded well, for Finrod had brought uh, more treasures out of Tyrion than any other of the princes of the Noldor. End of quote. Yes, it's possible, and for Galadriel's character arc in the show, I like her to sacrifice the dagger, like letting go of the past trauma, but it felt a little bit too forced, you know what I mean? After this explanation you can feel it too, it was a little bit too forced. I cannot believe that Eregion doesn't have a little bit of gold and silver from Valinor, at least of the size of the dagger, at least that. So concluding, I think there is no curse by Sauron on the dagger, and the eye is just a reference like many others 
to the beginning of a dark age that Sauron is starting. Do you think the dagger is cursed? Do you think there was no other gold or silver in Eregion? Tell me in the comments and if you like the content, be so kind to subscribe to the channel for more theories, not for me, for Frodo, for the fans.